<laughs> so, so Liz, how many miles have you sailed? So, somewhere around 19, 20,000 now. 19, 20,000, that's, that's almost around the world once, almost. Except I keep going like this over yeah. there, but... The South Pacific treats you well, why, it you does. know, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? Right. So, what, what do you like most about your adventures? Like, Mm. Surfing and must be at the top. I right? surfing and for sure is at the top. Surfing on crowded waves and just mostly the freedom and living close to nature. How, yeah. how much uh, like when you're sailing around and when you're living on your boat, how much diesel fuel do you, does your boat use? Like every uh, you know per year, for instance, per or per year? month or. Know, per year would be a good average. Now that I'm down in the trade winds, I don't use nearly as much as I did when I was in California and on the coast of Central America. Um, but even down there, I use the engine to get in and out of the passes and to sail safely in, in and out of the anchorages. I often use it. Um, but in Mexico and Central America, I use the, I use the motor all the time. Yeah. It's really the wind was really inconsistent, so you were just just depends on where you're at. But in it the South depends. Pacific, mm -hmm. hardly at all. Like, yeah, you don't. I mean, if you have time to not be on a schedule and you can wait for the winds to blow you where you want to go, then you, you don't need that much fuel. Yeah. So this is this is where we get our energy from up here. It's so uh, cool. That that uh, produces the equivalent of a, of a gallon of diesel fuel every four days. Wow. So. That be enough for most of your. I think travels? for me, yeah, it definitely would be enough. Would definitely but you be like enough. that diesel engine, don't you? Like you like working on it. <laughs> and you like crawling around underneath I love, it. I love, like yeah, I just smell love it. tightening yeah. that alternator belt at sea. Yeah, yeah you really like fun. doing that. Yeah. Love the smell of diesel when I'm sailing downwind and, or motoring downwind when yeah. it's really light. Think you yeah. think you'd miss it if you went like uh, to an electric drive? Maybe. Well, I'd really miss the sound, the really <laughs> really loud sound and vibration. Yeah. yeah, that would that would definitely be sad. That would be a sad to moment. Go, yeah. but I could probably survive. You could survive that. Yeah. Well, that's what we do. We just we we put uh, electric drives in. The motor's on right now on this boat right now. That is incredible. Yeah, you cannot hear just, anything. We're just motor sailing along and. Uh, if the boat's going faster than the propeller, then it'll start regenerating, so, putting electricity back into the batteries. Wow, so once we're sailing yeah. and we turn the motor off, it'll be charging the batteries back up. Yeah. That's yeah. so amazing. Yeah. And it's, so you designed this system by yourself? This has come over this years is, of This refining. is uh, an evolution, you know, and uh, they, they, uh, we, we learn as we go through it and we make them more powerful and lighter and running cooler and, and and a smaller form factor so that they can be you know so now boats can start being designed around the motor um, or, or not around the motor however we want to look at it but but the, the motor doesn't have to take up as much an area so, so um, more flexibility yeah so my boat 50 horse diesel is about this big yeah. how about how much space would um, one of your hybrid motors take up? Uh, yours is about 15 inches long and about the same width with its uh, mounting brackets and about a foot high. Wow. So they're just, it's, they're really quite That's small. Incredible. Yeah. Wow. So cool. But we're going to need more solar for your boat. That's, we're going to have to figure that out. Or a little generator of some sort. Right. So the alternative is to plug in a little, a little generator if you need extra yeah. power. Liz has a a Cal 40 yeah. named Swell, swellvoyage.com, I think, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah so, uh, and it's been quite a voyage too. So. It's been eight years now. Yeah, and it's blogs, and, and you write, and books coming out, out publishing books. Hopefully. And, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good things on the way. Excellent. Yeah, and the, and. Um, Tell me a little bit more about why you, why this is your passion to... Well, it started on this boat where I had an Atomic 4, 
and uh, every time I come back into the harbor when I needed the engine most it would die or quit on me or it wouldn't start or something and I was just I, I have no no uh, an atomic four is a gasoline it's an old gasoline engine that was in a lot of sailboats and it's really like stinky and kind of dangerous because it's having a lot of gasoline on the boat yeah and uh, um, it was just intermittent you know just when and it, and it had a mood where it could determine where you needed it most and that's when it would not run right? sure yeah so it one of these days it just came out it's just like that was enough enough's enough you know okay and then i bolted a little trolling motor on the back and i'd put, put and make about two knots <laughs> right and that wasn't big enough and then i tried a, a, a motor from i bought it out of europe but that wasn't big enough either and then i started building them and this is about uh, the fourth iteration on this one and there's another one coming in about another two to three weeks a newer a brand model. new one coming a new model coming out wow know? and it's a uh, smaller lighter more powerful you know this so type of thing cool. running cooler and you've been developing like environmentally friendly marine um stuff now for I mean, this Eight isn't years. your only thing. You've done, you did the, the, the solar, solar, the solar tool panel. Bell. Yeah, the solar panels for. We're doing DC generators now. I'm actually going back into the fossil fuel world, bringing back all the solar stuff with me. Great. You know, and kind of bringing it all together. Because so there are cool. there are times that, uh, where a boat just needs a, a, an engine on board. You know, the, the power density of diesel fuel is a lot greater than that of batteries. So uh, most boats generally don't need it, but any boat that's doing a, a long voyage needs a, a generator on it of some sort. Sure. It's more of a safety issue for yeah. me, even though you know men sailed around the world for thousands of years, women too. Without it. <laughs> Without it, right? <laughs> Nothing, you know? Yeah. And no auxiliary, right? And uh, so, but, but still, you know, these days people kind of want to have a safety backup and, and these days also people have schedules to keep you know sure and and you can't count on the wind all the time or the sun so, so that's so really cool diesel. to be able to integrate the two and have the best of both worlds when you need them well have them. the real interesting part about it is that uh, um, we can charge batteries 35 times faster with our generators than a, than a regular uh, diesel is, is charging its batteries now and oh. And a, a regular diesel is about 1% efficient and will be about 35% efficient capturing that energy. That's a incredible. diesel, by the way, is about 40% efficient, just roughly, just so, so that's the top end of it. Okay. But uh, we can get about 90% of the diesel's energy back, whereas they're, they're getting, you know, like about 1% with, uh, with standard alternators, standard designs. So that's the big plus because when you're on Anchorage, you don't want to be polluting the environment that you're enjoying. For sure. You know, you, you just don't want to do it. So. I would be so happy to yeah. not, to eliminate that. Well, you don't, with your solar, you, you probably hardly yeah, ever have to charge your batteries. It's really rare that I have to turn on my generator. But the more and more we can work towards eliminating even having to have fossil fuels aboard would just be awesome. Yeah. Well, this is a special day, by the way. It's my birthday today. What? <laughs> no way! Is it really? Happy birthday! Oh my God, that is That's so awesome. cool! We're Happy celebrating! Birthday. Yay! Thank you. What a that good is so cool! Yeah, the universe delivered. Seriously! <laughs> now we should have gotten that 